Hello everyone. My name is R. Pradeep Kumar and I am Professor of Civil Engineering. My area of research is Earthquake Engineering. I welcome you all to this short lecture series that is Know Your IS Code Provisions, a short lecture series on IS-1893-2016. So let me share my screen. Yeah, so this is introduction to Know Your IS Code Provisions, a short lecture series on IS-1893. So when we look at the prevailing seismic hazard in the country, as per IS-1893-2016, country is divided into four seismic zones. Zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five. Zone five being severe most zone, and zone two being the least zone. So if you look at the zone wise uh, classification of the area or zone wise area, we see something like this. So 12% of area belongs to severe earthquake prone areas, that is zone five, and 18% belongs to uh, zone four, twenty-six percent belongs to zone three, that is moderate, and uh, zone two we have forty-four percent of land area in the country. So it means around fifteen percent, fifty-six percentage of land is prone to moderate to severe earthquake events. So unfortunately, our population is distributed in such a manner that around or little over 80% of population is living in this 56% of land. So when we look at the notable events in earthquake events in the country, say over last uh, three, three and a half decades, 1988, there was an earthquake in Bihar Nepal border that led to a lot of uh, life loss as, as well as property loss. And then 1991 uh, Uttarkashi, 93 Latur, 97 Jabalpur earthquake, Chamoli, and then 2001 Buj earthquake, 2005 Kashmir earthquake, and then uh, 15, 2015 Sikkim earthquake. So there are many uh, more earthquakes which occurred. But when we look at the damages and life loss in last three decades, we can clearly see that 50,000 people died mainly because of the collapse of the buildings. And a total of around 5 lakh, uh, five lakh buildings were severely damaged. Uh, five, 5 lakh people severely got injured. And 10 lakh people, that is 1 million people, 1 million people, uh, sorry, 1 million uh, buildings got uh, collapsed. And then 5 million people. 5 million uh, houses got severely damaged. That is 50,000 people died, 5 lakh people severely injured, 1 million houses collapsed, and 5 million houses got severely damaged. And when we look at, say, practices elsewhere, that is world's best practices early 1900s and early 2000s, and where we stand in India compared to world best practices. So if you look at this slide, early 1900s, there were high human fatalities and high economic losses. So in India, it was also like that. But over 100 years, over 100 years, people in other countries, so they focused on their earthquake resistant design practices. They focused on mitigation measures also. Thereby, the result is low human fatalities. Now, if at all earthquake occurs, number of people, uh, number of deaths for the similar level of earthquake shaking in those countries will be low. And still, economic loss is high, but people are doing research to how to reduce this one. If you look at India, even early 1900s and even today, we have high human fatalities as well as high economic losses. You can see the dead, body, dead bodies wrapped in, in the cloth. So these kind of uh, uh, damages and life loss, how can we reduce? And what are the 
reasons for such kind of uh, uh, major issues so when we look at that there are three reasons for collapse and damage to buildings first one when we look at say urban areas a lot of unregulated development is happening in the building environment and the second one is in rural areas many buildings are like largely individual buildings are largely self built and the third one is there is lack of awareness of earthquake standards for design and construction it is not that we don't have good standards we have good standards but many a times it is adherence to these standards there is lack of awareness so this effort that is know your is code provisions uh, short lecture series on 1893 is an attempt to uh, fill that gap in whatever little way possible so is know your is code provisions a short lecture series on is 1893 so that is the code so what i have done in this uh, short lecture series is i have taken each clause and whatever clause is there so as it is i try to explain word by word and also sentence by sentence and the overall meaning of the clause and wherever possible i have taken examples and uh, to make it simple and crisp each clause each clause uh, is dealt in uh, uh, like brief yet in little more detail so both the things are there in around uh, 8 to 12 minutes of time so around uh, like some clauses are around 8 minutes of time and then some clauses some videos are uh, around uh, 12 minutes of time so we can uh, you can view all those things at this uh, uh, link that is uh, that is https fact uh, hyphen or dash webpages dot triple it dot ac dot in and uh, tilda raman charla so here you can uh, get the series complete series and the youtube link uh, is also provided but clause wise if you want to see you can see it like that so how it looks uh, i'll just show you that if you click that link you will land in this kind of page so where we have all the uh, clauses they are hyperlinked say for example they click on this one so load combinations so you will see uh, such kind of uh, videos so whichever link you click you will get that yeah so the intention of this uh, lecture series is to help students and uh, practicing engineers in general but early practicing engineers in particular to understand is code provisions in a better manner and i have used uh, the references that is one is uh, is 893 clauses and is 30 code and commentary on is 893 and so bmtpc uh, earthquake tips and uh, gsdma uh, document that is on is 893 and i sincerely acknowledge the help of my research students in preparation of these slides and also uh, some examples hope that this effort will help uh, uh, people to understand is code provisions especially is 893 2016 in a better manner so what i'm planning to do is uh, these lectures are uh, like a first cut uh, kind of uh, attempt but for a period of time what i'm planning is to improve uh, each and every uh, lecture whenever wherever it is possible with a better content okay so thank you very much